गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट प्रीवियस क्लास आई डिस्कस अबाउट द एस एस लॉ एंड सम एप्लीकेशन रिलेटेड टू द एस एस लॉ नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द बॉन्ड एनर्जी इट इज ऑल्सो कंसिडर एज बॉन्ड एंड हेल्पी वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ बॉन्ड एनर्जी द अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी रिक्वायर टू ब्रेक वन मोल ऑफ बॉन्ड इज कॉल्ड bond energy that means see, what amount of energy is necessary to break one mole of bond is called bond energy normally remember an important point when we want to break a bond then generally we need some energy on the other hand when we want to form a bond then obviously there is a release of some energy so we can write bond breaking is an endothermic reaction on the other hand bond making is an exothermic reaction endothermic reaction means the reaction in which heat energy is absorbed on the other hand exothermic reaction means the reaction in which energy is released remember an important formula heat of reaction that is denoted by del h equal to total bond energies of the reactants minus total bond energies of the product by the help of this important formula we can able to do some problem related to the bond energy let me explain some problem related to the bond energy calculate the enthalpy change that is your del h for the following reaction the reaction is 2 c2h2 plus 5 o2 gives a 4 co2 plus 2 h2o given average bond energies of various bond c bond h c triple bond c o double bond o c double bond o o bond h are four fourteen eight hundred ten four ninety nine seven hundred twenty four Four hundred sixty kilojoule mole inverse, respectively. For solving such type of problem, it is highly necessary to calculate the number of bond present in a molecule. Without knowing the number of bond present in a molecule, we cannot able to solve such type of problem. For knowing the number of bond present in a molecule. it is highly necessary to draw the structure of the molecule so at first write the structure of the reactant and the product present in the reaction here the reaction is given that is your c2h2 c2h2 is said to be ethyl the structure of ethyl is drawn like this this is the structure of ethyl here two molecule is taken next i want to write thyl o double bond o this is the structure of oxygen molecule next is your carbon dioxide the structure of carbon dioxide is drawn like this next is your water molecule the structure of water molecule is drawn like this now i can find out the heat of reaction the heat of reaction del h equal to total bond energies of reactants minus total 
बॉन्ड एनर्जी ऑफ प्रोडक्ट लेट मी फाइंड आउट द टोटल बॉन्ड एनर्जी ऑफ द रिएक्टेंट्स इन द रिएक्टेंट साइड टू इथाइन मॉलिक्यूल्स आर प्रेजेंट फाइव ऑक्सीजन मॉलिक्यूल्स आर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इन इथाइन मॉलिक्यूल देर आर टू सी बॉन्ड हेच आर प्रेजेंट टू गेट दिस इज योर वन सी बॉन्ड हेच दिस इज अनदर सी बॉन्ड हेच Here two molecule of ethane is taken. So here I can write two into two into C bond H. Look at that. Here one C triple bond C is present, but here two ethane molecule is taken. So it is bound to write plus two into C triple bond C. This is the bond energy. For two ethane molecule, look at that. Your another reactant is present, that is your oxygen. So here I can write plus five into O double bond O. This is the total bond energies of the reactants. Next, I want to find out the total bond energy of the products. So here I can write minus. Look at that. There are two products are present in this reaction. At first, I want to think about the carbon dioxide. In carbon dioxide, there are two O double bond C are present. This is your one O double bond C. This is the other C double bond O. That is your O double bond C. So here I can write four into two into C double bond O. Another product is also present. That is your water. In water, two O bond H are present. Look at that. This is your one O bond H. This is the another O bond H. So here I can write plus two into two into O bond H. Now put the values of each. Bond energies. Then I can write here two into two into C bond H means four fourteen. So here I can write four fourteen. Next I can write plus two into C triple bond C means here C triple bond C is eight hundred ten. So here I can write two into eight hundred ten. Plus five into O double bond O means four ninety nine. So here I can write five into four ninety nine. This is the total bond energies of the reactants. Then I can write here minus. Now look at the product side. Here I can write four into two into. C double bond O means I can write here 724. Next is your plus two into two into O bond H. O bond H means 460. So here I can write 460. This is the total bond energies of the product. This is the total bond energies. Of the reactants. After calculation, it is seen that the total bond energies of the reactant is five seven seven one kilojoule mole inverse. On the other hand, the total bond energies of the product is seven six three two kilojoule mole inverse. After Calculation we can write del H equal to minus one eight six one kilojoule mole inverse. In our question, find out the enthalpy changes for this reaction. So here I can write the enthalpy change 
that is your del h equal to minus one eight six one kilojoule mole inverse. Next, I want to do another problem. Calculate the enthalpy of formation of ammonia from the following bond energy data and bond heads bond equal to 389 kilojoule mole inverse heads bond heads bond equal to 435 kilojoule mole inverse and n triple bond n bond equal to 945.36 kilojoule mole inverse our aim to find out the enthalpy of formation of ammonia according to the definition of enthalpy of formation the enthalpy change during the formation of one mole of the product from its constituent element is called enthalpy of formation at first i want to write the reaction our aim to find out the ammonia This is the structure of ammonia. Ammonia is prepared from the element that is your nitrogen. Another is your hydrogen. I can write the structure of nitrogen like this. The structure of hydrogen is like this. After balancing, it is seen that N two plus three H two gives C two N S three. Now I want to find out the heat of reaction. Heat of reaction del H equal to total bond energies of reactant minus total bond energies of products. Here the reactants are nitrogen. Another is your hydrogen. The product is only ammonia. So here I can write one into n triple bond n plus three into h bond h. This is the total bond energy of the reactants. Then I can write minus two into three into n bond h. Because in one ammonia molecule there are three n bond heads, your two ammonia molecule is used. So here I can write two into three into n bond heads. Now put the values of bond energies. Then I can write one into n triple bond n means I can write this value here. That is that is your one into Nine four five point three six plus three into h bond h. H bond h means I can write this value here. So here I can write plus three into four thirty five. This is the total bond energies of the reactants. Next I can write like this two into three into n bond h. N bond H means 389. So here I can write 389. After calculation, it is seen that the total bond energies of the reactant is 2250.36, and the total bond energy of the product is 2334. After calculation, it is seen that the value of del H. Equal to minus eighty three point six four kilojoule. Remember, this is the total heat of reaction, but we need enthalpy of formation of ammonia.
enthalpy of formation generally deals with one mole so it is highly necessary to find out the enthalpy change for one mole this is the value for two mole of ammonia according to the reaction so i can find out the heat of reaction for one mole by dividing this value by 2 so here i can write enthalpy of formation of ammonia equal to minus 83.64 divided by 2 again i will repeat this is the heat of reaction for two mole of ammonia but we need enthalpy of formation for ammonia According to the definition, enthalpy of formation deals with one mole. So it is bound to find out the value for one mole. This is the value for two mole of ammonia. When I divide this value by two, then I will find out the enthalpy of formation of ammonia. That's why I can write enthalpy of formation of ammonia equal to minus eighty three point six four divided by two. After calculation, it is seen that the enthalpy of formation of ammonia is minus forty one point eight two kilojoule per mole. In our question, find out the enthalpy of formation of ammonia. So we can write the enthalpy of formation of ammonia is minus forty one point eight two kilojoule per mole. Now I want to explain. About a new term that is entropy. What is the meaning of entropy? The degree of disorderliness. The degree of disorderliness or randomness of a system is called entropy. That means if we think about the randomness. or disorderliness of the molecule present in the system if the molecules move randomly then we can think that the entropy of the system is more if the molecules are present in silent manner that means we think about that the system having less entropy remember for a chemical reaction the entropy must be high otherwise the chemical reaction cannot be possible entropy high means we think that the molecules present in the systems move randomly that means they are more active as a result they can react with each other to form the product so remember for a chemical reaction the entropy must be high the change of entropy is denoted by del s the change of entropy del s at 290 kelvin temperature and 1 atm pressure is called standard entropy change and it is denoted by del s0 this is your change of entropy this is your standard change of entropy if the entropy value increases then we can think that del s equal to positive if the entropy value decreases then we can think about that del s equal to negative let me prove that how del s is positive how del s is negative suppose a gives a b a having entropy s1 b having entropy s2 suppose the entropy goes on increases that means say we can write s1 smaller than s2 we know that change in entropy del s equal to s2 minus s1 look at that here the value of s2 is more than s1 that means this value is more than this value so obviously the change in entropy del s is positive From this, it is clear that if the entropy value increases, then del s is positive. On the other hand, suppose the entropy value 
goes on decreases then i can write s1 greater than h2 look at that this value is larger than this value so obviously the del s is negative from this it is clear that if the entropy value decreases then del s is negative on the other hand if the entropy value increases then del s is positive the unit of entropy is joule into kelvin inverse into mole inverse this is your cgs unit the entropy have also another unit that is your si unit the si unit of entropy is calorie into kelvin inverse mole inverse remember an important point change in entropy that is your del s equal to s final minus s initial your s final is the entropy at final state s initial means entropy at the initial state for a chemical reaction for a chemical reaction we can write del s that is your change in entropy equal to summation of s product minus summation of s reactant this term indicate that the total entropies of the product this term indicates that the total entropies of the reactants for a reversible process for a reversible process at a equilibrium at a equilibrium i can write del s equal to q reverse divided by t here q reverse is the amount of heat supplied at a temperature t in a reversible process let me explain about the characteristics of entropy what are the characteristics of entropy first point entropy an extensive property next point entropy is a state function next point the value of entropy independent upon the path followed the absolute value of entropy cannot be evaluated it has exact differential that means i can write integration of ds the lower limit is your s1 the higher limit is your s2 this is equal to s2 minus s1 which is equal to del s these are the characteristics of entropy next i want to explain about the factors which affect the value of entropy it depends upon the state of the substance state of the substance means we generally think about the gaseous state liquid state solid state in case of gaseous state we know that the molecules are far away from each other and they randomly move in the system that's why the gas having high entropy as compared to the liquid and the liquid having also more entropy as compared to the solid next factor is temperature if you will increase the temperature then the kinetic energy goes on increases because we know that the kinetic energy is that proportional to the temperature that means if you will increase the temperature then the kinetic energy goes on increases if the kinetic energy goes on increases then the randomness that is your disorderness goes on increases if the disorderness goes on increases then the we think that the entropy goes on increases from this it is concluded that the entropy value increases with increase of temperature next point more is the collision in a chemical reaction more is the entropy these are the different factors which affect the value of entropy
entropy. Next, I want to explain about the entropy change in phase transition. In phase transition. That is denoted by del S T R N S. The change of physical state of matter is called phase transition or phase transformation. Mathematically, I can write del S transition equal to Q reverse by T. Your Q reverse is the heat evolved or absorbed during transition at temperature T. Phase transition means change of the state of the substance. That means we generally think about solid to liquid, liquid to gas, next is solid to gas. Solid to liquid means generally we think about fusion. Liquid to gas means we generally think about vaporization. Solid to gas means we generally think about the sublimation. Now I will discuss about the different types of phase transition. At first, I will discuss about the entropy of fusion. It is denoted by del S FUS, which is the symbol for entropy of fusion. What is the definition of entropy of fusion? It is the entropy change when one mole of solid substance changes into liquid form. It is a melting point. That is called entropy of fusion. Mathematically, entropy of fusion is given like this: del S fuse equal to del H fuse divided by T. Here, del H fuse equal to enthalpy of fusion at fusion temperature T. Next, I want to do. A problem related to the entropy of fusion. The enthalpy of fusion of ice is 6.025 kilojoule mole inverse at 273 kelvin. Calculate the entropy of fusion at 273 Kelvin. In this question, del H fuse equal to 6.025 kilojoule into mole inverse T given as 273 Kelvin. We can also convert the kilojoule into joule. So here I can write del H fuse equal to 6.025 kilojoule mole inverse, which is equal to 6.025 into 1000 kilojoule mole inverse. We know that we know that entropy of fusion equal to Del H fuse divided by T. Now put the value of del H fuse and T in this equation. Then I can write del H fuse equal to 6.025 into 1000 divided by 273. After calculation, it is seen that the value of del H fuse equal to 22.07 joule into Kelvin inverse. Mole inverse. In our question, find out the entropy of fusion. So here I can write entropy of fusion equal to 22.07 joule into Kelvin inverse mole inverse. Next, I want to explain about the another entropy change in phase transition. That is your entropy of 
vaporization it is denoted by del s dap this is the symbol for entropy of vaporization what is the meaning of entropy of vaporization it is a entropy change when one mole of a liquid changes into vapor at its a boiling point mathematically i can write del s vaporization equal to del h vaporization divided by t here del h vaporization is the enthalpy of vaporization at its boiling point t next i want to do a problem related to the entropy of vaporization the enthalpy change for the transition of liquid water to steam is 40.8 kJ mole inverse at T73 Kelvin calculate the entropy of vaporization of water in this question enthalpy change is given that means here i can write del h vaporization equal to 40.8 kJ mole inverse temperature t is given that is t seventy three kelvin we know that del s vaporization equal to del h vaporization divided by t now convert this kilojoule value into joule value that means here i can write del s vaporization equal to forty point eight into ten to the three joule into mole inverse now put the value of del h vaporization and t in this equation then i can write del s vaporization equal to 40.8 into 10 to the 3 divided by 373 after calculation the value of del s vaporization is 109.4 joule into kelvin inverse mole inverse in our question find out the entropy of vaporization of water so here i can write entropy of vaporization of water equal to 109.4 joule into kelvin inverse mole inverse next i want to explain another entropy change in phase transition that is your entropy of sublimation It is denoted by del S S U B. This is the symbol for entropy of sublimation. What is the meaning of entropy of sublimation? It is the entropy change when one mole of solid changes to vapor at a particular temperature. Mathematically, I can write entropy of sublimation. del s s u v equal to del h s u v divided by t where del h sublimation is the enthalpy of sublimation at a particular temperature t next i want to do a problem related to the entropy of sublimation for iodine the enthalpy of sublimation is 62 kJ mol inverse the entropy of sublimation is 145 joule into kelvin inverse mol inverse calculate calculate 
calculate the sublimation temperature in Kelvin. In this problem, del S sublimation is given that is 145 joule into Kelvin inverse mole inverse. Here also del H sublimation is given that is your 62 kilojoule mole inverse which is equal to 62 into 10 to the 3 kilojoule mole inverse. We know that we know that del S sublimation equal to del H sublimation divided by T. I aim to find out the T value. So here I can get T equal to del H sublimation divided by del S sublimation. Now put the value of del S sublimation and del H sublimation in this equation. Then I can get T equal to 62 into 10 to the 3 divided by 145. After calculation, it is seen that the value of T equal to 427.59 Kelvin. Our aim to find out the sublimation temperature. So, here I can write the sublimation temperature in Kelvin equal to 427.59 Kelvin. Next uh, I want to explain about the another Newton that is your Gibbs free energy. It is also called free energy. It is denoted by G. What is the meaning of free energy? The maximum amount of energy available to a system during a process that can be converted into useful work is called Gibbs free energy. That means what amount of energy is available in the system for the useful work done that is called Gibbs free energy. Mathematically, Gibbs free energy G equal to H minus T S. Here H is the enthalpy, T is the temperature, S is the entropy. Next, I will explain about the derivation of Gibbs Helmholtz equation. We know that. We know that H equal to U plus PV. Here H is the enthalpy, U is the internal energy, P is the pressure, V is the volume. Suppose this is your equation 1. Again, we know that. Again, we know that G equal to H minus TS. Suppose this is your equation 2. Now put the value of H in equation 2. Then I can write from 1 and 2. We can write G equal to U plus TV minus TS. Suppose I want to find the change in P energy, the change in P energy is denoted by del G, then here I can write del G equal to del U plus del of P B minus del of T S. Suppose I will think about at a constant temperature and pressure then I can write del of PB equal to P del V and I can also write del TS equal to T del S. Look at that. Here the value of P is a constant so we cannot take del P. We can only take 
del B. That means I can write del of P B equal to P del B. Similarly, your temperature is constant. We cannot take del T. So here I can write del of T S equal to P del S. Now put the value of del P B and del T S in this equation. Then I can write del G equal to del U plus P del V minus P del S. Suppose this is your equation three. Again we know that. Again we know that del H equal to del U plus P del V. Suppose this is your equation four. From three and four, I can write del G equal to del H minus T del S. This is your said to be Gibbs Helmholtz equation. Next, I want to explain about the characteristics of Gibbs free energy. First point: Gibbs free energy is an extensive property. Second point: Gibbs free energy is a state function. Next point: The value of Gibbs free energy independent upon the path followed. Next point: The value of G cannot be calculated. Next point: The change in free energy can be calculated. Next point: The free energy has exact differential. That means I can write. Integration of d g lower limit is your g one higher limit is your g two. Then I can write g two minus g one equal to del g. These are the characteristics of Gibbs free energy. Next, I want to explain about the standard free energy chain that is denoted by del g. So, what is the meaning of standard free energy change? The standard free energy change is the free energy change accompanying a reaction at two ninety eight Kelvin and one atm pressure. That means the free energy change at standard condition is said to be standard free energy change. We know that del G equal to del H minus T del S. For standard free energy change, I can write del G zero equal to del H zero minus T del S zero. Here del H zero is standard enthalpy change. Here T is the temperature, which is equal to two ninety eight. Kelvin del S zero is the standard entropy change. 